We're asked to plot the given angles in standard position and then write an expression describing all the angles that are coterminal with the given angles. Use the variable k in your answer where k is any integer. First, we have 138 degrees. In standard position, the initial side is along the positive x-axis. And then because the angle is positive 138 degrees, we now rotate counterclockwise 138 degrees. One fourth of rotation counterclockwise is 90 degrees. We need to rotate another 48 degrees counterclockwise, which brings us to approximately here. This would be the angle 138 degrees in standard position. Coterminal angles are angles that have the same terminal side when sketched in standard position, which means if angles are coterminal, the initial sides are along the positive x-axis and they have the same terminal side. So for example, the next positive angle that's coterminal to 138 degrees would have the initial side along the positive x-axis make one complete rotation counterclockwise and then stop at the terminal side of 138 degrees. And we can find this coterminal angle by adding 360 degrees to 138 degrees. If we wanted a negative coterminal angle, we would start at the initial side and rotate clockwise to the terminal side of 138 degrees. So this angle here would be a negative angle that's coterminal to 138 degrees. And we could find this angle by subtracting 360 degrees from 138 degrees. Which means the expression for all the angles that are coterminal to 138 degrees can be expressed as 138 plus 360K, where K is any integer, and the units would be degrees. Let's use the Desmos graphing calculator and find 20 coterminal angles to 138 degrees. Going to desmos.com, we click in cell one, then click show keypad, and we enter 138 plus 360K. For the K, click the ABC button, and then the letter K. Notice there's an option to add slider. Click the K. The interval for K is from negative 10 to 10, which is good, but right now the scale is by 1 tenths. Because K is an integer, we need to change the scale to ones. Click in the cell and change the step to one. Close the keypad, click outside the cell, and now we can change the value of K by using the slider. Notice when K is equal to zero, we have the given angle of 138 degrees. As you move the slider to the right, we will be adding multiples of 360 degrees to 138 degrees. All the angles shown above are coterminal with 138 degrees. Again, we're adding multiples of 360 degrees to 138 degrees. If we go back to K equals zero and move in the negative direction, we will now be subtracting multiples of 360 degrees from 138 degrees, giving us negative coterminal angles. Next, we have negative 324 degrees. The initial side is along the positive x-axis. Because the angle is negative 324 degrees, we now rotate clockwise 324 degrees. So we have negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees. We need to rotate another 54 degrees clockwise, which brings us to approximately here. The terminal side of negative 324 degrees in standard position is here. All angles coterminal to negative 324 degrees will have the same initial side and same terminal side. So for example, the least positive angle that's coterminal to negative 324 degrees would be this angle here. We can find this angle by adding 360 degrees to negative 324 degrees. The next negative coterminal angle to negative 324 degrees would be one complete rotation clockwise and then terminating back at the same terminal side of negative 324 degrees. We can find this coterminal angle by subtracting 360 degrees from negative 324 degrees. So this indicates all the angles that are coterminal to negative 324 degrees 
can be expressed as negative 324 plus 360K. And again, the units here will be degrees. And again, let's go ahead and show 20 coterminal angles to negative 324 degrees using the Desmos graphing calculator. We already have the correct slider for K. So now we can simply go down to cell three and enter negative 324 plus 360K. Let's close the keypad. Notice when K is zero, we have the given angle of negative 324 degrees. Moving to the right, we have 10 positive coterminal angles to negative 324 degrees. Going back to K equals zero and moving to the left, we have 10 additional negative coterminal angles to negative 324 degrees. Of course, we could find these by hand, but it is nice to be able to use Desmos and use a slider to quickly determine several coterminal angles. I hope you found this helpful.